The next item is a motion sensor light. This particular is a motion sensor. It looks identical to the other lights. It's wired identically to the other lights. But the motion sensor is really a smart device. And when I say smart device, I mean the fact that there's an integrated circuit in here that essentially uses a what they, what's known in the business as a PIR. PIR stands for passive infrared. Passive infrared doesn't necessarily detect motion. I think that's one of the misnomers. Passive infrared detects differences in temperature. So once this is mounted and power is applied to the unit where this is getting some power, what this does is it measures the ambient temperature of the surrounding air. And then once it's got that locked in, then what it does is that anytime something passes in its path that is different than the surrounding air, sets it off and turns on your lights. So what happens? If you have an intruder or somebody that's on your property that walks in front of the path of the PIR, it will turn these on. And it will turn them on based on what you set your controls to. And we'll talk about the controls in another episode. So one of the things you have to be careful about with this is that with passive infrared, you want to be careful where you mount this light. You really don't want to mount it where this is aimed at, let's say, a hot tub in your backyard or even a, uh, a dryer exhaust from your dryer vent. Um, anything that might change the temperature, blow out hot air or whatever, or even warm water because it will set this off. It sees it as a different temperature than the ambient air. So if you do that, you have to be careful how you mount this. Just be aware of that. Um, if it's mounted correctly, you aim it out at your driveway, it's fine. It'll sense somebody coming up your driveway. It'll sense a car coming up your driveway. Um, and then basically, uh, it's a smart light. So it's only on when there's motion. As long as there's motion, it'll stay on. The minute the motion is gone, and hopefully you have a startling effect that will startle the intruder or whoever's on your property and scare them off. And that would include animals, whether it's deer or coyotes or raccoons or whatever. It'll still pick them up and hopefully startle them off your property. So those are the three families of lights that we're going to be talking about today. And we'll go on to our other episode. Thanks for listening.